It started off as such a gray, dingy day. Mm. But then the sun popped out, so we came out caching. Yeah, let's get on with the adventure. It's a very cool wooded area here with uh, this awesome ravines nearby and we're gonna go down into them. And this is an area we've been to before, but not this specific spot and it's so close to home. And that's just one more thing, you know, geocaching doesn't have to take you far and wide for a great adventure. You can get to places like this almost anywhere close to home. Last made the find on this one while I was visiting with the snake and she made some friends uh, a couple of muggles came by and we explained geocaching to them hey put in the comments below how many times you go out and uh, see muggles do you stop and explain geocaching and do you think have you ever made them into a geocacher kind of wandering around a bit with the coordinates but it came up up from the trail and it says the hint is rooty and it's a one a one difficulty four and we can't find it <laughs> so we're just gonna have to keep looking because I think this might be more more than a one because I'm close and I'm not seeing it so I have to dig a little deeper. There? Yeah. Oh, that's another toad. Found it! We'll get the dog after. I don't see any animals coming. Oh, it's a star! In this series, you find the cache and then you look at what the stamp is in the letterbox and put that into the centrude. How do you say that? You into say the checker. You put it into the checker. Put that into the checker and it gives you a letter code that you use to solve the puzzle cache. have one of those days. <laughs> we thought we would have this one so easy with the hint. We've actually been having quite a bit of trouble with some of these caches. It's not just walking up and getting it. We gotta actually search. <laughs> Imagine that. Lyric last suggested we look way up here in this spot and lo and behold we got it. <laughs> As we looked for the caches, we found a four and a half, three and a half traditional cache, which will complete London Westies Fizzy Grid for the 26th time. Congratulations, London Westie. Lyric Glass doing what Lyric Glass loves to do Climbing trees. London Westy can climb them too, just not very often. She always grabs them before I can get to them. Yeah, Does we'll go that with mean that. You're slow. No, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs>
That's the last letter box. We got all the codes. Yep, we'll put all the codes in and we'll find the final and we'll get that one next. And after a long search, we got the final. It was not the first place we looked. <laughs> the hint was good, we just weren't looking right. Got it though, what a cool adventure. Back it goes. Hey, guess who we saw caching? Yeah, we got muggled by a couple of other cachers. Desafio and the Boz Five. Woohoo! New Westie or Cache Canada? <laughs> and Geopup City. Oh, and another Geopup. Can you hear the tree frogs? Yeah, they sound cool. Just part of our fun adventure. Yep, we're glad you joined us on this adventure with Cache Canada. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Yeah, where will geocaching take you?